Good evening. It's John again to play some Immaculate Grid. Um, had a had an interesting one yesterday. Cy Seymour um, had a, had the big 1905 season, and I've gone back and back to it. Doubles, triples, batting average. I mean, uh, number of hits, well over 200. RBI, over 100. He did not score over 100 runs. And I think uh, one of uh, the commenters checked, I forget which one, um, but... I appreciate the stat head research on for someone with that many hits. Um, and I, I forget the other metric, but for someone with that many hits, and I think maybe that many extra base hits, um, only like one or two other people in history had ever not had a, a that season be a 100 RBI season. So I thought I was making a relatively safe pick. Turns out I was wrong. So I missed up on the uh, missed out, messed up, whatever, on the rarity score. Fun little nuances in baseball, you know? You just never know what you're going to get. Let's let's play. Let's play today's game. Let's see if we can improve. Cy Seymour was my Achilles heel yesterday. Pound and refresh. Walt Weiss really high here for Atlanta and Colorado. Anyway, hit and refresh. Hit and play. And away we go. All right. That's an Edwin Jackson combo. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna skip that one. Randy Johnson. And let's go Steve Carlton here. Roger Clemens here. Ruben Sierra down here. Uh, let's get Tim Raines. Um, let's see, for this one, we could go Todd Zeal. Over here, White Sox, uh, Dick Allen. 3%. And I don't want to use him, but Vicente Padilla. Under a minute. 116 rarity score. Vicente, I'm going to struggle to come up with a with one. Vicente Padilla is my guy for... If if I've either these teams or the Phillies, any two of three, I go with Vicente Padilla. I should really just find some more. I I got I got another one, but I think it'll be higher. Mike Morgan is the guy I'm going to go with. Spoiler alert. All right. Other than that, I did actually have some pretty low rarity scores in the middle. Like this whole T here is uh, under th three percent and under. Um, let's see. Yeah, I guess I could have gone with Scherzer. A Rod probably, probably a more prolific <laughs> candidate than Ruben Sierra. But uh, all right. Well, that'll be interesting. Let's see how. Let's see how the rarity round goes. Let's see. Stop the share. Start the share again. All right. And let's see. Now, I know, I think Andy Bennis had exactly 2,000 strikeouts. And he works for both of these teams. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go with Mike Morgan up here. 3%. Okay. So not off, not off to a great start so far. Um... I believe this is a Jack Quinn combo. All right, still still going strong, less than point one. Uh, see that is a Roberto Alomar category. Um, let's see, Rangers and and Yankees. That also would have worked for Mike Morgan. Worked for Gossage. Um. Gaylord Perry was ever so briefly a Yankee. Um, I gotta believe for the Diamondbacks, the best choice is going to be Andy Bennis. Okay, 1%. And then the challenge there is, okay, let's come up with someone for the Cardinals. Bob Gibson, Steve Carlton are pretty obvious ones. Dizzy Dean didn't pitch nearly long enough. Um, 
Who else? Who else? And then you go into, I don't know, John Tudor? Probably not. Um, Wainwright has maybe gotten there. It'll make more sense from a rarity perspective if we find someone who sort of just slipped into and out of St. Louis. But I'm not thinking of, of too many um, people who, uh, who did something like that. I'm going to grab a... But you know, maybe I use them over here. Let's see if I... I'm thinking... The, the name I'm thinking is Royce Clayton. Um, he'll work for both of these. We've got John Wetland down here. Um... And yeah, for the Yankees. Let's go. Well, wait, Phil Necro and Gaylord Perry will work. Gaylord Perry, I think, will be. He was barely a Yankee. Yeah, less than 1%. All right. And now we're looking at uh, Cardinals and Rangers. Um. I think actually this is an Arthur Rhodes combo. I think he actually played for both teams in 2011, and in 2011 they played each other in an epic World Series. Ah, takes 1%. That was not as rare as I thought it'd be. Um, Which I, I guess means I could use... Well, I could also use Royce Clayton here. So I've got some options. Roberto Alomar also works in there. Um... then down here for Yankees and Rangers. Mention Gossage. Um, Padre Rodriguez will work. He was ever so briefly uh, a Yankee. Um, Teixeira, I think is going to be a popular one. Um, Soriano. We got A-Rod. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Mike Morgan would have been a better pick down here. Probably. Mickey Rivers works, right? I don't think that would be particularly rare, though. Um, man, I feel like there's way more options. I'm just blanking on them. Just blanking. Gallo, he's going to be, he's going to get some points. Um, have I come up with anyone good? I mean, I've come up with like Soriano is going to do well, Teixeira is going to do well, Pacho Rodriguez does well. Um, let's see, I used Todd Zeal already, right? I used him here because he also works here. Um, then. Yeah, uh, Kevin Brown will work. Maybe, maybe that's that's an option. Kevin Brown also would have worked over here, I think. Will he work? I, I want to see Kevin Brown actually be better than Gossage. Probably better than Wetland. But I don't even think he'll be better than my first pick, which was uh, Ruben Sierra. Um... Ooh, Otis Nixon will work. Point one. Nice. Point one from Otis Nixon. It's good that he still works for uh for some of these combinations. Alright. We'll grab Royce Clayton up here. Two percent. What do you think Roberto Alomar does? Can I do better? I'm not gonna think too long on it though. I've, uh, I've drawn this one out long enough. Let's see, you're not gonna get like Mondesi or Gilkey or these random people who popped into Arizona for a bit. Council isn't gonna work. Kelly Stinnett, I don't think so. Joel Adamson, no. Matt Williams, J Bell, 
You're not gonna get Julio Franco. He did play for the Devil Rays, but not the not the Diamondbacks. Um four percent. Dang it. All right. Now for the, the coup de gras here is try to come up with someone who's not Andy Bennis or Bob Gibson or Steve Carlton, but did get to 2,000 strikeouts. Um, I am struggling with this category, though. Uh, I think Adam Wainwright also works. I'm not sure on Carpenter. Um, I'm not sure on, like, your Matt Morris's and Daryl Kyle. Daryl Kyle died too soon. Um, Woody Williams. That's a good baseball name. Um... Dennis Eckersley, maybe? Because he was a starter for a long time. Not, But no, there's no way. There's no way he would have gotten there. Um, He did win, like, almost 200 games in his career, though. There's got to be more than just those three guys, though, right? There's got to be. Uh... John Lackey? Man, I don't I don't think so. Um Time is ticking away on me. Not literally, because I don't I don't set a, a formal time on this. But I'm consciously aware that I'm you know that you guys aren't gonna hang around, nor should you hang around for uh, for this long, one of these days I'll edit it and I'll I'll edit out some of this this pondering. It's I think it's all right if I'm going over the thought process and I'm I'm just trying to think of well this guy seems like a player who might have gotten to two thousand strikeouts, but in this case like I thought of Andy Best because he had exactly two thousand, and I know about Gibson and Steve Carlton, um, and then it's a whole lot of people that I you know don't know. Um, but there's probably several options. Uh, what about? I know it doesn't work for two two hundred in a season, but what about Grover Alexander? Play pitch for a long time. That's my rationale. Grover Alexander pitched for a long time. Dead ball era didn't strike out a ton of people, but he did lead the league in strikeouts a few times. Let's go for it. One percent. All right. And there were 16 options led by Mr. Wainwright, who I also said, I just wasn't as sure. Yeah, so Carlton I got. That's Gibson. Boston. Boston, Atlanta, and St. Louis. John Smoltz, that's right. Forgot about him. Who else? That's Cy Young. That's Steve. Uh, Chuck Finley, rather. Not Steve. That looks like Lester. I'll just look at this guy. 283. Jim Cat. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not going to go through everyone. Um, cool. Well, I guess there were 16 options there. Only eight here. Um... I came up with Andy Bennis at 1%, so I, I think that was actually a pretty clutch option. Less than half people were getting the Diamondbacks, and you know I got some decent ones. Could have done a lot better with Roberto than Roberto Almar, though. Um, Javi Vasquez I might have been able to come up with. Adam Dunn's pretty obvious. Yeah, I don't feel too bad about these guys. Hasn't really been that many, has there? John Garland, Luis Viscano, ooh, Mike Myers. I got to get more, uh, more acquainted with the career of left-handed submariner Mike Myers. All right, well, I am gonna call it there. I did, you know, fourteen's a, a decent score. Got it under a minute, so I'll say I a little, a little bit better than par, but I wouldn't say a birdie. Again, I don't really know golf, so I don't know why I'm using golf terms.
but pretty happy with that none, nonetheless. Continue to tell your friends, share your scores, do all those things. And, uh, and we'll be back at it tomorrow. Peace.